When I first got introduced to the Monster Hunter series with Monster Hunter Tri, I described it as the perfect ego masseuse and stress reliever. The feeling of achievement when beating a difficult monster is addictive, especially when you start realizing how much you have grown when you crush troublesome early monsters like cockroaches late in the game only to wet your diapers when you randomly run into a devil jaw. 11 years later and the core formula remains the same with Monster Hunter Rise. Fight monsters, upgrade your equipment, defend the town, keep the balance and feel good doing it. After playing Monster Hunter World a lot, my PS4 broke just when Monster Hunter Iceborne was released. I ended up not playing it at all, so I'm extra excited about Rise. I played the Monster Hunter Rise demo sparsely as I only wanted to get a feel for the weapons. The demo is still available via the Nintendo eShop if you want to try out the game. The four weapons I decided to go with are the Sword and Shield, Gun Lance, Light Bow Gun and my always reliable Lance. I considered switching my Lance out for the Charge Blade, but as the monsters got harder and harder, I went back to my most reliable weapon. The big additions to Monster Hunter Rise are the Wirebug, the Palamute and Riding Monsters. The Wirebug is for traversing the world vertically. This game is really built tall and this tool makes it easy to move around. The Palamute is a new dog animal companion that players can ride and battle alongside. Riding Monsters is so much fun. Mounting has been in Monster Hunter for a while but now paired with the Wirebug acting as the reins, the process is more involved and fun. 30 plus hours in, I am just about to enter high rank, but like Monster Hunter World, I think Rise is awesome. The story surrounding the Kamura village is nothing to write home about, but I dig the Japan themed setting. New monsters and the excellent music. I look forward to enjoying this game for a long time. If you want to play together, the best way to get in touch is on Twitter at Jamaipanese or during one of my live streams. I will have more to say about Monster Hunter Rise once I have got more experience playing.